Hi there, my name is Grant from the Elgato team and in this video we'll be talking about how to check if your camera is compatible with CamLink. CamLink is our line of capture devices that lets you convert mirrorless cameras, DSLRs, camcorders and more into a webcam to be used in your favorite streaming or video conferencing applications. It works by connecting a camera's HDMI out port to the HDMI in port of CamLink and then connecting to your computer either via USB or PCIe depending on which model of CamLink you have. CamLink is compatible with a long list of cameras and we've compiled a large list of them on our website elgato.com but if your camera isn't featured on the list at the moment here are a few ways to check if your camera is compatible before buying one for yourself. Keep in mind this applies to both CamLink 4K and CamLink Pro. The only difference between these two models is how they connect to your computer and how many cameras they support. When looking for a camera to buy, or if you have an existing camera, there's a couple of things that you need to check to ensure that the camera works with CamLink. Does it have a clean HDMI output signal? And can it be powered or stay on for long periods of time without switching off? Firstly, your camera has to have some sort of HDMI output. Most of the time, this will be a micro or mini HDMI. Since CamLink has a normal sized HDMI input, you'll need an HDMI cable which is regular on one end and whatever matches your camera's port on the other end. Many cameras include this cable in the package, but if you don't have one, you can always purchase one separately. Keep in mind to purchase a cable that's long enough to reach from your camera to your computer. Now that you know that your camera has an HDMI output, you'll need to check that it has a clean video output. In short, this is when the camera allows you to remove any display information or overlays from the HDMI feed. To test this, connect your camera to any monitor or HDTV with the camera's HDMI cable. This is to check what kind of picture you're gonna get when using the cam link. What you see on the TV is what you'll see on the cam link. Now, if you see a bunch of overlays, this doesn't necessarily mean your camera doesn't work with CamLink. You may need to go into some camera settings to see if there are many options that let you hide overlays. On some cameras, there's an info or display button that you can just press until you see that the display disappears. And if you're using a DSLR, keep in mind that some DSLRs from companies like Canon require you to turn off autofocus to get the fully clean HDMI output. After you've determined that your camera has a clean HDMI out, then check out your camera's power capabilities. Make sure that your camera will stay switched on for the duration of your stream or your recording session. Some cameras have battery save modes and turn off after a period of inactivity. Most cameras can disable this function, but some can't. So make sure to check this because you're going to want to have a camera that stays on for the entire duration of your broadcast. Nothing is more annoying than it just switching off. We highly recommend using what are called dummy batteries so you can plug your camera in question into a wall outlet. This will provide continuous power to your camera so you don't have to worry about any batteries dying midstream or mid call. Dummy batteries also don't generate as much heat as normal lithium ion batteries. So even if you have a camera that might support charging over USB, most of the time this will still require having a battery inside the camera and the heat generated from the battery might trigger the camera to turn off after some time to prevent overheating. This issue can be avoided when using a dummy battery. Depending on your location, you can purchase these for like under $30 from websites like Amazon. We have an extensive list of compatible and incompatible cameras on Elgato.com that we're constantly updating where we cover all of these questions based on internal testing from us or feedback from the manufacturers or our community. If your camera is not there and you're still unsure, ask your manufacturer or take a look through your camera's manual. That's it for me. For more information on your favorite Elgato products, make sure to check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel or visit Elgato.com. Once again, I'm Grant from Elgato. Until our next video, good luck and have fun.